Embattled Anne Arundel County Executive John Leopold is facing more legal trouble. This time it's a lawsuit filed by the ACLU accusing him of keeping an enemies list. Maryland Bureau Chief Brad Bell's in Annapolis with the details. Brad. Well, Alice, Anne Arundel County Executive John Leopold was the subject of an extensive criminal investigation by the Maryland State Prosecutor. It led to charges last spring. One of the things the investigation turned up was that Leopold's special police officer, so protective detail, was illegally accessing, allegedly illegal accessing, databases to look up dirt on certain people that Leopold didn't like, an enemies list. Well, today, those people are striking back. Marvinese Harris does not mince words when she describes Anne Arundel County Executive John Leopold. Disgusting. Harris filed a complaint against Leopold in 2009. She claims he made a vulgar pass at her in a public cafeteria and wouldn't take no for an answer. Very uncomfortable, um, humiliating, uh, just <sighs> awful. She became even more disturbed last spring when Leopold was indicted on charges of misconduct and misappropriation. One of the accusations was that he had used on-duty county police to allegedly do research on a list of enemies. Marvinese Harris says she was among those targeted. Victimized for the second time around. Harris is now among 11 plaintiffs in a lawsuit against Leopold. It was filed today by the American Civil Liberties Union on behalf of those on the so-called enemies list. This lawsuit really is aimed at making sure that Mr. Leopold and all other public officials in Maryland know that it is not okay to collect information on private citizens just because you want to, because you're trying to dig up dirt on them. The lawsuit demands that Leopold hand over the enemies list dossiers. Marvinese Harris also wants to send a message. Um, that he knows that he can't do that to anybody else. Well, Leopold's spokesman declined comment today. Leopold is scheduled to go on trial on those criminal charges next month. In Annapolis, Brad Bell, ABC 7 News.